In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean your cloth seats or your cloth carpeting or your cloth floor mats, anything cloth, with just simple tools and products you can find locally without having to wait for them, without having to get some big machinery or fancy tools and products. First, of course, you want to vacuum it. That's pretty straightforward. This seat is, this is my personal vehicle. This seat is actually very, very dirty. It's hard to tell because it's black, but I, we, because we work a lot and we work in Texas and the heat is always at least the temperature of hell, that these are very, very sweaty and nasty to be honest, but luckily they're hidden because it's black. Anyhow, uh, the one product I'll, I'll recommend in this video because I know they sell them nationally here in America is Super Clean. Uh, you can find, you can use like Simple Green or, or Power Purple or Purple Power. Those should be fine too, but I'm gonna just stick with Super Clean here because I use it a lot. Um, so you can buy their gallon sized at locally. I think it'll run like 12, 14 bucks, but the cool thing is it's dilutable. So if you wanted to, I, I would recommend you dilute the product 10 to one, meaning we we'll use three ounces of this product and 29 ounces of water in a 32 ounce bottle. Meaning you can get a lot of bottles, 10 to 1, 4 to 1, 5 to 1, 1 to 1, from one gallon. Like this, I could make, I don't know, do the math. If it takes three ounces to make 10 to 1, how many can I make if, it's, if there's 128 ounces in here? So a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of bottles you can make. If you want to just bypass that, you can just buy like their, um, just their, 32 ounce bottle here that's ready to go. This is their foaming one. Um, they have like a few variations, the aerosol kind and such. Um, whatever you like, but I do recommend Super Clean because you can just find it locally. Next is you just need a brush. Don't worry about this brush specifically. Any handheld brush that you have that has um, that has stiff bristle brushes is going to be good enough. Like don't get. You can go to look uh, O'Reilly's, AutoZone, Walmart, Target, and you can find a brush that has medium stiff bristle brushes. And you'll need some towels. That's literally all you're gonna need to clean whatever you want to clean. Whether it's the stain, whether it's your whole seat, whether it's the carpeting, you can get away with just these three products here. I'm gonna put this towel right here, actually, so you can see the before and after. Now, very straightforward. You vacuumed it, good, it's clean. What you're literally gonna do, very simple, folks, very simple. You're gonna have some overspray here, and just, you'll wipe that down later. Is you're literally going to saturate the area. It's like your brush here. And give it a thorough agitation. Now, it will take some elbow grease. If you're doing a lot of the interior, you will get fatigued. Even more so if you're out in the heat. So it is like it is wet. It's not it's not soaked wet. Like you're not penetrating the foam or anything. And this isn't sponsored by Super Clean. I just I I actually I this is what I use in my business all the time, and I buy it locally all the time. So that's why I'm recommending it. And the folks over there are really cool, but this isn't a sponsored video or anything. So I don't really care that it's being shown to be honest. Okay, so it will be a bit tiring because you do have to put that physicality into it and actually, you know, agitate with your hands and stuff. So that's going to be that. So you will get a little tired, but nonetheless, very achievable. And you're literally going to take your towel, whatever towel it is, and look at all that nastiness because I sweat a lot because we work a lot. Now let me see. Uh, now it's now when you first do it, you're not gonna see the true result because the moisture, the solution that you use, the moisture, is kind of hiding the true result. So what you need to do is you need to wait for it to dry. Do the whole seat, but you're gonna have to wait for it to dry to see the true condition. Here, it looks good, but that's because there is technically some wetness over it that's hiding everything that's why when you take your car or maybe you've heard of it before where they you take your vehicle to get serviced it looks clean then a few days later or a few hours later like hey look the stains are coming back out maybe it's because it was too wet and it didn't have enough time to dry so if you're outside in the heat the sun's out It'll take maybe 30 minutes to dry. If you're out in the cold, there's no sun, it's raining, it's going to take a lot longer because there's nothing for it to dry. You could put a fan or possibly turn on your heater, maybe, to speed up the process.
and there we go the seed is now complete it is hundred and ten percent dry now because it's black it is a bit more difficult to see um, in person it's a lot more noticeable but because I'm not in a well-lit area and because that it's black um, you're just not gonna see a huge difference but there, there definitely is a difference so you can you can replicate that exact same process on your seats on your carpeting there this is just the light I'm using on your carpeting right on your on the floor mats on the carpeting itself uh, on the entire area of the seats here anything cloth you can basically replicate that all right and this is just going to be a quick q a about this kind of thing because there's going to be questions and then i might miss some so these are just some generic questions of uh, answers about if you want to tackle this on your interior where um you are going to get tired like i mentioned so like if you are trying to do the entire vehicle you're most likely gonna have to break it up into sections across the day or over the week because you do have to put in a lot of uh a downforce you know just energy efforts into the scrubbing because it is manually there's a bunch of other things you could use that aren't as manually intensive but then that requires spending money and waiting so you will have to put in a lot of effort you'll sweat a lot so be prepared to get tired um kind of focus in on the heaviest parts first because of that because you're gonna get tired so you know if, if it's the main seat and like one floor mat that's like the dirtiest just tackle those first because they will take the longest and it'll really get you tired and then the rest will be easier because it's not as dirty as those areas that you addressed and yes with the drying if it's a hot day or relatively warm day and you take the car outside windows down or the doors open or whatever for one or two hours it should be a hundred percent dry like you're not using that much product to where like it's penetrating through the cloth to the foam and like staying there it's literally just top level surface that you're that you're using it doesn't have to foam up like you see in a lot of videos where you know people spray a lot and the foam ha you don't necessarily have to have that happen and because you're doing it manually you're not going to be scrubbing that fast to generate that foam every single time so you could lay down more product if you want but seeing foam isn't necessarily a, a direct correlation between it's getting clean um, and every time you do agitate make sure you are mopping it up like don't do five don't spray brush spray brush spray brush without mopping it up so you want to do spray agitate mop up with a towel spray agitate mop up with a towel there might be some instances where you want to like do two applications of spray agitate spray agitate that's fine but don't just you have to remove some of that dirt first and then go at it again to just keep on cleaning the, the like so to speak the different layer you know the layer of of dirt you want to make sure you keep on removing that dirt so always mop it up and then do it again and if you want to really ensure that you're going to get the best results you can with this method is that um once you let it dry you want to inspect it again and then see where you need to touch up like even in my business which we're using a lot more machines and equipment and such is that once it we'll do the first pass and let it dry and then we'll go around the interior and touch up any areas that need to be touched up like it's not going to come out 100 percent perfect your first pass and because it's wet because the solution is kind of hiding um the stains that haven't came out you have to give it time to dry like there, there's no other way. you just have to let it dry and you're, you're gonna have to do it again and depending on the condition on your seed on what it was some things aren't gonna come out 110 percent that's just the reality of it especially with like limited tools and products um it just it's not everything's gonna come out every single time uh, if it's like the the things that might not come out are just things like stains that have been there for like five plus years or like something like red like wine or like blood that one it can come out it just you'll need a different set of tools and products um, but there's you know it just depends on a few on quite a few variations the next thing that I suggest is that if you are buying like super clean which is dilutable 10 to 1 which is 3 ounces of, of super clean and 29 ounces of water that gives you 10 to 1 um, if you need something stronger meaning like your interior is kind of dirty and you need more of a thorough cleaning you can dilute it 4 to 1 and you have to do the math I'll, I'll leave a link down below to a dilution calculator just type in your ounces um, you know what better yet if you're diluting 10 to 1 on a, on a 32 ounce bottle this is the dilution ratio 4 to 1 or on a 32 ounce bottle this is the dilution ratio there you go but just also check the description box down below for that dilution ratio calculator and yes on the weather part if it also is raining or it's cold or the sun's not out it is going to take longer for it to dry because there's nothing to dry the seats maybe you can try turning on the heater i haven't really done that but like close the windows and turn on the heater let i mean i don't know i i personally haven't tried that yet um or you can put like a fan if you have one 
But if, if it's like, if it's really cold outside or they're just like, it's super humid, it's just, it's gonna take a much longer time to dry because there's nothing in the air to dry the seats. When I first started my business and I had actual paying customers paying me to clean their interior, I started with just brushes, like hammered interiors, I did it with just brushes. And it was a lot of work, so if you wanna put in the work for however long you can or you want, you can get good results. Now, doing this isn't gonna eliminate like smoke smell or like if your animals peed or pooped in the back or something, like it'll help minimize it to some degree, but that might be a, a different task that you have to do with an ozone, ozone machine or like a more in-depth in interior cleaning. Um, especially if it's a smoker, like you're, it's not gonna come out, the smell's not gonna completely get rid of it just because you've cleaned a few areas here and there. Maybe it might minimize it, a little maybe, but it's not gonna eliminate a, a smell that's been there for however long. Uh, the amount of towels you use are gonna depend on how on how much you're cleaning on the inside, um, but it would be good to go and like, you know, if you have, if you have like five, 10 on hand, depending on, on how many how much you're gonna clean. Um, but you wanna use like as much of, as, of, of every side of the towel that you can, that way you're maximizing the usage and minimizing the amount of towels that you're actually using. And, and, and don't be too specific with the like, just if you have a brush laying around, if you have, if you want to go to your local auto parts store, pick up something for like six, seven bucks. It, it doesn't have to be expensive. Just as as medium, the stiff bristle bristles on the brush that feels good when you're holding it in your hand. That's all you need. Don't go overboard and start overthinking it and looking at reviews. Just purchase something and, and get to work. So that's gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed and you go out there and just clean your seat, clean your floor mat, clean your carpeting, what have you. And let me know if you have any other questions down below. I'll see you on the next one.